Too close. Back up. Back the truck up. So we were out for a walk, and I don't know if you can see. It started pouring. Yeah, while we were out there. It's we the got first jogging we've done in a while. We got home just in time. Hence, well, we wouldn't have got home just in time if we hadn't jogged for that last yeah. tenth of a while. It's been a while since we've jogged. Yeah. It felt good. I even jogged in the house when we got home because it felt so good. <laughs> So, hopefully, closing will be Thursday. And today is Tuesday. Two days. Barb is assuring us that everything's going to be fine. A million times she's assured us it's going to be fine. Veterans United is... Not assuring us of anything. As a matter of fact, every time they give us closing cost figures... Even though something has gone down and we've shown them it's gone down, they throw something else in there to make it go up more. So it started out at 14 something. Now it's up to 26 hundred. Yeah. When we had written the contract in a way that we shouldn't have to pay anything, we got $5,000 seller assist, which both realtors assured us is more than enough to cover our end of the closing costs. Veterans United is like, oh no, no, it's not going to be like that. So. Now See, the papers. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. No, they're they're covering their butt because they say, oh, they're national average, national average. And we're like, why do you have to use national average when you have the actual figures? You've been in contact with the title company. Yeah. You have the actual figures for the um, homeowners insurance and the appraisal, and so many things are absolutely done. But they keep charging us for things that we don't pay for. And they've been in contact with all these people too, uh, yeah. so they know the figures, but... They refuse to set it up the right way. And now they're saying we have to pay 11 months in escrow for taxes instead of three. So they're saying they want a whole year in advance in 11 months, and our realtor's like, no, that's not how it works. So she's working with the title company, and I guess tomorrow we'll find out what the actual figures are. I'm scared. I am. I'm scared too, because... We have, we had just enough money in our account to pay for the U-Haul trailer and gas to get back and forth down there three times and get it done in two days. Fortunately, can I say what happened? Sure. So, unfortunately, my father passed away earlier this year, but fortunately, was it yesterday? Yes. Yesterday, a social security check came for survivor's benefits. And that'll give us a little extra money, but it's certainly not enough money to cover even a, a, a quarter of a sixth of what they're saying it's going to, what Veterans United is saying it's going to be. So if it has to be a couple hundred dollars, we'll be okay. But it would be so nice to not have to spend that money. Yeah. We haven't bought food food in like two months. We've been getting food from the pantry and supplementing it with milk and a matter of fact the milk we're using right now is um powdered milk that i ran had. out of beer three days ago <laughs> you ran out of greek yogurt like a week ago i have half a cup left but you ate uh, all my chocolate chips holding out on me no but you still have all your snacks i don't have any snacks i have one seltzer left i'm saving it <laughs> i have one chocolate milk left which I got from the pantry. Yeah, so we're, we're, this is as poor as we've ever been. And the thing is, we wouldn't be this poor if it weren't for the things that have happened since January. So January was, our fathers both passed away, and then um, Allie and Jared got married. Not that that cost us a lot of money, but we gave them a big wedding gift. And then we also paid for their trip to go back up to Pennsylvania. That cost a couple hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars. And then we had to pay the appraisal. We had to pay for the water tests. We had to pay the $500 deposit. So all this money that we would be able to use to buy food and gas, gone and other stuff. So it's been tough. We haven't been to Disney now and well, since, since March. March. Yeah, I mean, had we known all this was going on, yeah, I don't yeah. think we would have gotten it. No, but yeah. we are definitely going to make up for it because there's going to we won't. Our first payment, I think, is not due until September third or September first or something like that. Plus, we'll get the some money back from this place for the security deposit. 
and we'll have our social security for August. So we'll have plenty of breathing room to actually do something. We have to go see Pandora and Animal Kingdom. Yeah. We haven't even driven anywhere because we don't want to use gas. In like at least a week we haven't gone anywhere. Last time <laughs> we went somewhere was to the pantry to get food. I'm not saying, I feel like I'm saying all this to, to feel bad for ourselves. I don't, I mean, there's, you have to make sacrifices to, to We're get, actually eating really well. Yeah. It's not like we're... We're very clever with the food. Yeah. Tonight we actually had a pretty neat dinner. We had, now, don't not canned ham because there's people out there eat spam, and I think that's way worse. Yeah. So we had um, half of a canned ham that we had that in grits and spinach. But we've been making some pretty cool meals. We only had grits because we like them. We have lots grits. of mashed potatoes, but we decided on the grits. Yeah. So I guess tomorrow we should do this again once we hear what's going on. So if we start this with crying, you'll know. Ooh, did you hear my tummy? No, don't show my tummy. <laughs> did you hear it? It was like I heard it. It was like a whale. You speak whale? No, but my stomach does. I might be gassy. <laughs> Anything else to add? We've got almost all the packing done. Yeah, we got it. Oh, can I add something about the triathlon? So I went to <laughs> I went to a meeting. No, don't zoom in. Don't, don't, don't zoom in on me. So I went to a meeting. Um, a woman was running that's actually friends with my cousin Richie. It was super interesting and something I've been wanting to do since I was actually a pre-teenager. I used to watch like the Iron Man with my dad. And so I've always been into physical fitness and exercising and running and biking and stuff. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to train for a triathlon. You're going to help me. Somehow you're going to help me. It's really neat though. A couple of the trails down where we're moving big enough to, to run and walk. I just have to find a pool. They have pools at the school, so I can do some swimming there if I have to, but to get out in the open water, we're going to have to go somewhere. I just don't want to get eaten by sharks or alligators. No. But if I don't, it'll be fun. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I miss, I miss the kids. I miss all the kids. And I, you know... I hope they all can come down and visit us. Yeah. I'm really proud of this home that we're getting. Fingers crossed. 